Hi, this is Andrew Carlson, and I'm an Applications Engineer with Ceratech, and welcome to our Tips and Tricks tutorial series. Thank you for watching this video on creating markups with an active workspace. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials. And if you have any suggestions or specific requests for tutorials on topics that you'd like us to create, please add them in the comments below. Also, if you have any questions about this video, please be sure to put those questions in the comments as well. So this video will be about how to create markups with inactive workspace. To do that, we're going to search for a PDF that we'd like to make a markup on. It's going to bring up a list of all the PDFs that we are um, responsible for, that we have in our database. And then we can select the PDF that we want to make the markup on. So what you'll see here is on the right hand side, we have a preview of our PDF. And we also have a button up here that says show markup. If we select that, it's going to populate a couple other buttons that we can use. And that's going to allow us to highlight and to create freehand markups. So you'll see here that there's actually a markup already created on this document. And it was created by Ed, the user Ed, and there's a timestamp on there. So let's say that we wanted to create another markup, right? We can say create highlight. And then all we need to do is just drag our cursor across the section we want to highlight. And it's going to create that highlight. And <clears throat> what, it, what happens is on the right hand side, you have a prompt to put in a message or comment. So let's say that we wanted to say change wording, for example. We wanted to change the wording to this. Um, that will be what appears on this markup. And we can dictate if we want that to be displayed to the public or just ourselves uh, in a private mode or authors. Um, so you can actually, you know, you have security measures on here as well. And so if we hit create, we'll see that if we hover over this now, we have the change wording comment inside of our pop-up uh, when we hover over this. Another cool aspect of the markup capability is freehand markups. So if we select the create freehand, what we actually have here, we can, we can freestyle on this document and actually draw and connect these dots. It will create a square or a rectangle depending on what we've drawn. We can also create circles if we do this. Um, we can create arrows by just drawing here. So it snaps everything into place. And then if we select uh, accept, it will also prompt us to create a comment for those markups that we've created. And again, when we hover over these markups, it will show us a timestamp and who created them as well as the comments. So this is an easy way uh, to mark up your PDFs and then send them along for approval or changes that need to be made uh, and make that available to those that need to make those changes. So thank you for watching our video. Um, and if you have any suggestions, again, or specific requests for tutorials on topics that you'd like us to create, please add them in the comments below. Also, don't forget to check out our other support videos here on our YouTube channel and tune into our customer enablement series held on the first and third Thursdays of each month if you'd like to get more helpful information. Thank you. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.